All right, so we got EA Sports FC 24 official match day experience deep dive trailers. We're at video. Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 Hello. deep dive series. Today we're talking about new match day experience, and I'm here with Fab and Adriano from the development team. Hello, at EA. Adriano. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Happy to be and here. And Sheldon. There are a ton of new features coming, so let's just jump into some of the Turn this major thing up. upgrades, starting with the new Frostbite engine. Yeah, our goal was to make FC24 really the most immersive and realistic title we've ever launched. And okay, really obviously. the improvements to Frostbite, it's allowed us to bring our players and atmosphere and stadiums to life. And One thing I can say, it does look really, it looks really real. As authentically as we possibly From like the past trailers and stuff like yeah, that. So what that I can, I can confirm that. Like, you know, how can we make the pitch feel as real as possible? How can we make kits look and feel and react to bodies as they do? Look at Sun, life? man. And I understand one of the big changes here is the new player models. Absolutely. So these new models are a perfect example of how the evolving Frostbite Ooh, engine can make the Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Immersive. We just wanted to add as much detail to the players as we can. You know, because we all know every look at his hair moving. different and we want to capture those differences. That's so whether crazy. Whether it be Sam Kerr or Holland or you know peter crouches man holland's gonna be a 99 power bro it looks incredible and it just looks like the fabric is completely leveled up is that something that was a focus and a big thing coming to fc24 yeah we we completely revamped our cloth system what's really cool is how the cloth deforms and wrinkles it really maintains that athletic form underneath and just really adds okay. to the overall athleticism of our players it seems like the lighting as well has also True. really leveled up. This True. Way. Yeah, absolutely. True. Another technology. Just see like lighting in like different places of like the kit. Something that looks really nice. Feature lighting. So this year you'll notice there's more contrast. The players will just yeah. pop more from the background, making yeah. it feel more cinematic with more depth. Swear it does frame. like a movie, bro. It's gonna make every moment and every match. This thing does like a movie. Ever has. Well, speaking of every match, let's move to the match day experience, which uh -oh. I know has a few fresh features this year. What should we expect when we load up a game? So if you watch football, you know how broadcasts are constantly bringing more excitement and intrigue to all the moments around the match itself. Yeah. yeah for example, we really wanted to use our augmented reality technology to Ooh. highlight key stats of the match or inform our kick. players in, in understanding elements uh, of the game. Yeah, this is one of my favorite features because it lets you relive the action while also giving context and data about what you just did. You know, one example is, is actually displaying your team's stamina so we can actually help them inform, you know, making substitutions. Okay, all right, okay, that's that, actually pretty cool. showing possession, uh, passes completed. That stamina thing would be target. really, really, really helpful. Uh, that's a helpful, helpful. <laughs> Yo, they should have like the uh the Tottenham um the Arsenal and Tottenham um chat. And there are actually a bunch of new visual experiences. We're introducing snappier dynamic match intros that are mode specific and they get you into the action quickly while still setting the stage and reminding you what you're playing for. Yeah, absolutely. And with match day menus, whether it's in the intro, at halftime or at full time, we're able to bring players to locker rooms commentator gantry tunnels within the stadium okay that's the new i like that and it's going to make their match day experience feel all that more immersive so it's kind of like tv okay cool we're seeing all of this is a new gameplay camera and it feels like the community is actually really going to like this edition okay yeah good eye so that's one thing we are adding oh he oh he beat him he so beat him taking kind of inspiration from some of the most popular cameras in our communities and we've tried to the tackling, tackling looks really nice in this game that was also Whoa! Really entertaining on top of that, we have a brand new referee point of view camera that you'll see before some free kicks and even during some yellow cards and red cards. And it's going to give you a brand new perspective. From I like this. I also heard Ooh, that I like this. finally get to see the commentators broadcasting the game. And it, in particular, do we spy some new faces here? We are what about Marty and um with a new commentary duel that we're welcoming to FC24, starting with English commentator Guy Mowbray and former English international Sue Smith. Could be something huh? on. And there's the opener. The where, 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 where's Ma, where's Marty and where's Marty and uh smashes it past the keeper. Where's Marty and Ty or Marty and oh my god, what's the other guy's name? Marty and to hear how they no, recap, I wanted to see so them to hit these new celebrations. Oh, you know, we all know it's really hard to compete with the gritty. 
but we've got some new <laughs> with the gritty celebrations that I really think people are gonna people like John Jones yeah, and it's not just goal celebrations and, uh, but and what's his name do that uh, Jake Paul knocked out moments during the play Tyron Woodley like a big save or a key block where you actually see their teammates rush them and celebrate with them creating okay. these cool moments during the action I appreciate you both taking the time to okay, watch the celebrations look uh, very cinematic I like that 24 from the new revolutionized frostbite engine to the revamped match well, that's day it. experience and of course all right y'all listen i can't lie there's some things that i do like the referee cam thing was a really good thing um the whole halftime thing to where you get to watch the players go into like the locker room get to uh get to watch the commentators uh is pretty cool as well um and the celebrations the celebrations look very cinematic which is pretty cool because i feel like like after you celebrate I mean, I kind of liked when, like, you would celebrate and then, like, you can, like, uh, press, like, a button or whatever and make them do, like, a backflip or make them do, like, a celebration. But um, the fact that some celebrations are, like, very, like, cinematic, I like that a lot. Uh, FC24 looks like it can be a, um, a a good continuation after FIFA um, because, let's be real, FIFA has always been FIFA, if that makes sense. You know, I don't want to go into in depth of it, but FIFA has always been FIFA. And so, hopefully, FC... Uh, listen, uh, Looking at you know a lot of the uh, comparisons between uh, FIFA twenty uh, FIFA twenty three and FC twenty four, there are a lot of key differences, bro. Honestly, it w and there's a lot of good changes, you know. And um, and so I mean, I guess we'll see what happens whenever it comes out. I don't think we got a uh, a release date. Oh, we do have uh, so we got a pre order by August twenty second. So it comes out. So it's most likely going to come out. Probably, well, it's going to come out probably like early July. Oh, sorry, not early July. I'm, ooh, whoa, hello? Early September. They said you could pre-order by August 22nd. So, yeah, like early um, early September. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, these cars look pretty cool. These cars, they got like the human, like superhuman looking cars look pretty cool. And um, other than that, I'll see you later for the next one. I'm out. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the uh, FC24? And...